Deforestation is an increasing environmental problem. Overpopulation leads to expansion in housing and harvesting resources. We often see the dangers of deforestation on a larger scale, out in the rainforest and through the constant development and expansions of cities and towns. But what about when it happens right here at home? Laurel is a rural town located in the middle of Mississippi, home to great pine forest. Unfortunately, many of these forests were cut down in the past for lumber and agriculture. The deforestation and clearing of land continue to this very day in the small and ever-growing town of Laurel. Dylan showed me the process and results of deforestation taking place in Laurel currently. So Dylan, how long have you lived in Laurel, Mississippi? I've lived in Laurel for about 20 years now. Um, I've been able to see firsthand kind of the, the city grow and change and develop. And it's really started to pick up in the last five years. It's, it's been more growth and development than I've seen my entire life. When did you first notice the emergence of deforestation and development in your town of Laurel, Mississippi? Probably when I was a kid, um, every morning my parents would take me to school and along the way I'd see different types of wildlife um, and you know out in the woodlands and the pastures because we live a little bit outside of the city. Eventually I got to the point where we'd see fewer and fewer animals and over time I just stopped seeing them but coincidentally the building and the infrastructure of the city was also expanding further out towards my school. So where there used to be woodlands and forests, they were being clear cut and new buildings were being made. So over time, the animals just didn't have anywhere to go. And, and I think as a kid, I, I wasn't thinking about the excitement of the expanding city or uh, the new job opportunities. I, I was just thinking about and, and wondering where the animals went. I really started noticing these things as I got older and the reality of the speed at which it was happening. You know, all these new things are being built. There's new restaurants, businesses, there's new sports complexes, and all these things are being built and there's a lot of good in that too. But, you know, so often we think about these problems of deforestation and habitat destruction in other countries and places that we're not a part of. But in reality, it's it's happening in our backyards and if we're not careful, we'll miss it. Right here, I don't know if you can see, they're clearing out a bunch of land and they're putting in a Starbucks. So, wow. I know everybody around here is kind of like, a Starbucks? Well, because Laurel is such a small town that doesn't really have that. Harris never really had that many things. So it's weird getting a Starbucks here. Man, even just looking right now, they've got Little Caesars, Smoothie King, um, this new Mexican restaurant, like all three of those have hopped up in the last two or three years. So this is cool because this is like a, a nature trail that is attached to the sportsplex. So whenever they cleared out all this land to make all the soccer fields and baseball fields, they kept this um, area sectioned off and preserved, um, but they turned it into like a walkway so people can come out and experience nature, I guess, um, which is a good thing, but you know, it's 100 feet from the highway, so as much as you wanna be in nature, you're still gonna hear the cars passing through. Well, this is the sportsplex, so it's a, it's a great place. I grew up playing all kinds of sports on these fields. Really good for kids, building character, building team relationships, and obviously just having fun with sports. But, you know, this all used to be woodland and forest area, you know, with all kinds of hardwood and evergreen trees. But, man, there's just so much area that was cleared out in order to get this here. So, seeing the point in which things are now, what would you say the next step for positive change is? That's tricky. You know, a lot of these films that we see that present awareness about the things that are happening around um, don't always have an answer. And, you know, I think it's interesting because I wonder myself how a college student from Mississippi could ever have any effect on, you know, the climate crisis and the big things like um, 
South American deforestation, the melting of the ice caps, you know, vastly monumental things that are happening that I feel like I can't contribute to. But, you know, I know locals, I know people in my town um, that have a say, and I think there are a lot of people around um, different colleges or practicing reforestation and, and really pushing for conservation in different areas. And you know, I think if we start anywhere, it doesn't matter how big or small, um, it's just important that we start doing something. And so little things add up to big things and, and maybe through that we can make a change. So what happens now? How do we protect in a world that pushes forward? Start small, work bigger, help communities drive for compromises and help others to see what is being done and be aware. This is in our hands to take control and there are steps to be taken, both large and small. We can start on the small scale and gradually lead to larger scale attainment. Laurel is a beautiful little town and a great place to start a change for a better earth.